Okay, we got Nathan's backstroke. Nathan does a great job of getting a good straight arm recovery out of the water. The one thing you need to focus on is those knees, and you can see that right now is that there's no white water in that kick. And that's just going to come from more practice, and I, like I said, working on some kick sets where you kick on your back, and playing around with pointing those toes, getting more flexibility with the feet, and laying that head just a little bit further back. If you do that, I think your above arm recovery will pick up. As you can see, it's more of a one stroke stroke and what you want it to be is more of a windmill feel to it and I think you'll get that with the kick but you got a great start for a great backstroke keep up the good work okay we're gonna look at Nathan's backstroke Nathan's got good dolphin kicks the one thing that you need to work on a lot uh, a lot more focus on I would say is just the body position and when you do kick sets in practice that's the best time to do it because you can really play around with okay if I bend my knee this much um, if I lay my head back just a little bit more how much do I put my chin up I think you're getting a little bit too much knee bend with your kick and you're not pointing the toes as much and having ankle flexibility so what's happening is as I do that my hips are sinking and so now my arms are having to do all the work and that's going to make you a lot more tired in a, an event like the 200 backstroke. The other thing is you want to make sure that you're getting a deep enough catch each time. And you're doing a pretty good job of that. But like I said, there's too much knee bend. You can see that knee going back into the body each time, back into the body. And you want to get even rotation and even kick on each side. And I think fixing that and fixing that body position will be a huge benefit to you. Keep up the good work.